and I get a lot of questions about how to protect the pages in my art journal um, and um, and this comes to any art journal, not just a handmade one. So if you are working in, in art journals, how do you protect the pages? Because I, I use a lot of, of um, uh, material that is water soluble and that is kind of moving around all the time. And um, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of... Uh, uh, you never know really uh, how it will last and I think I've said this many times but I actually don't do anything uh, with my books I don't I don't protect them in any way I just let them be and I just work in them uh, and this one for example the book of flow uh, this one is four or five years old now I haven't done anything to the pages I'm flicking through and working. Something is missing here. Should be a little book here. Um, and flicking through and working in it again. And as you can see, things might get loose and fall out and change. But that's part of the fun. That's what I really enjoy with my... Uh, journals so I don't worry about it at all uh, but I want to show you uh, a couple of different things that you can do to to um, make them or prevent them to stick and um, uh, prevent them to stick and also um, uh, protect them a bit um, so you could you could use um, a spray varnish uh, to spray the pages with a matte spray varnish. Um, the thing is that depending on which um, which um, brand and sort you're using, uh, you might get a little bit of stickiness still. But spray varnish is probably one good thing that you can use. I don't use it at all in my journals. I use it in uh, I use it in my um, uh, in my on my um, canvases, of course, and I use it on the outside sometimes. Uh, when I create journals that I sell, I sometimes spray the outside and maybe one or two pages on the inside if I have created faces usually or I've used a lot of um, uh, water soluble material that I, um, uh, that I want to stick that it is more like an artwork, a finished artwork. So then I can use it. Um, another thing that I use all the time, of course, is my matte medium. And all my pages, or many of my pages, do have a layer of matte medium on top of it from the process of creating. Uh, so, uh, and this matte medium that I use is, is I don't think it sticks much at all. Uh, but I know it depends a little bit on temperature and um humidity and things like that so if you find that your matte medium do stick and that the pages do stick together and you don't want that i have two other things that you can do one thing is just to use some um, some kind of paper or something in between the pages so you actually do um, have layers in between and this is just a normal uh, deli paper um, or a sandwich paper a paper that is a little bit waxy and um, it's not a baking paper um, but it is uh, um, so it doesn't have oil or butter on it but it has wax on it now it became a bit curly so that will flatten and then actually have a page in between every uh, or a sheet in between every page. That is absolutely a way you can simply just get them to not stick together. Another way is to use, and I think I mentioned this last time, is use a candle. So any kind of wax on the page 
will help and a candle wax is really really simple and most of us actually have these small kind of pieces of uh, candles that are left over and that we maybe even throw away bring them to your studio and um, use them in your journals and what you do is just rubbing like this Should be a white candle because if you have a colored candle you will get color on your page of course The surface is waxy really kind of matte waxy and I've used part of the candle not too much and these pages will not stick together as much now as they did before 